is all Lee with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy and I have a new art project for you. Enjoy! Today we're going to draw a pug. So for those of you that don't know, a pug is a type of dog. Um, they're little dogs. You can also add a dog house or other things to the background too. So to start with, we're going to do his little nose. We're going to make the pug's nose be about in the middle of your paper. And we want this to be pretty small so we have room for the rest of the drawing. So to do that, we're going to do a little line in the middle of your paper. And then we're going to make a curved V to make a little upside down triangle for your nose shape. And you can go ahead and color that in. We're going to want that to be black. Um, if you're just doing a pencil drawing, then you'll definitely want to cover, color it in with pencil. Okay, next we're going to add the eyes. We want these to be pretty big. This is a cartoon version of a pug. So I'm going to start out with just kind of a C shape. Something like that. So I've got about an equal amount of the C on the top above where the nose is and below. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my eyes to be symmetrical. So before I draw the whole eye, I'm just mapping out where I want it to go and that it's evenly spaced away from the nose. So this I made just a backward C on this side. Then we're going to do the other half of the circle. Okay, so next we're going to add the pupil, which is the black part of the eye. Um, we're going to have it looking to the left over here. So I'm going to add a curved line right there. So it kind of looks like a moon shape here in this corner for this side. Do the same thing on this side. Next I'm going to add the reflection circles. So that's just light reflecting off the eye. So this will be a white dot in its eye. I'm going to put that in the top left corner. Just a little oval or circle. And then I'm going to do one in the top left corner of this eye too. Now you can just leave it with just one circle or you can add a tiny one in the bottom right corner. But not on the white part of this eye, which will be over here. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the pupil. If you're doing a pencil drawing, you'll definitely want to color this in with your pencil. I also like to color it in, even if I'm going to color it with marker, crayon, or color pencil, um, just so I remember what part is black and what part is white. So I'm going to leave that white reflection circle and slowly color around it. So next we're going to add the mouth. So we're going to have a section of kind of like the mouth and the snout um, that's going to be colored dark brown. So we're going to map out this kind of triangle oval-ish shape first. Okay, so to start with, we're going to start here at the corner of the nose, this left corner. And we're going to make a slightly diagonal line going out. And then the same thing on the right. Make sure it's not too far angled too far down. So we're going to pretend that this goes behind his eye. And comes out on the other side. And I just add a curved line going down. And I'm going to 
keep curving into a kind of parenthesis. And then we're gonna connect to those with a slightly curved line going across. Next, we're gonna add the mouth line. So to do this, we want it to have a bump in the middle. So I'm gonna start over here. I kind of want him to be smiling, so I'm gonna make kind of a U first. Then I'm going to make a kind of rainbow line going up. And then a U line over here. Okay, so next we're gonna add the top of the head and then the ears. So to start with, with the top of the head, we want a slight kind of dent in the top of his head. Right about there. I'm gonna make just a slight little U line. That might even be too U-y. Don't want it to be quite that dented. Just a little bit. Then I'm gonna add another line. Slightly curved out. Stop when I'm almost to the same part as the edge of this mouth. Same thing on this side. Kinda looks like a unibrow right now. Next, we're gonna add some little wrinkles. So pugs have kind of like folds or wrinkles on their skin. So I'm just gonna add two lines like that. And then on this side, they're gonna go this way. Show the like folds by his eye and forehead. Kind of look like a grumpy old man at first. Next, we're gonna add the ears. So these are gonna be kind of upside down triangles. So to start with, I'm gonna make this side of the ear right next to his eye. It's gonna be a diagonal line like that. And I'm gonna stop when it's even with the top part of this like mouth section. And I'm gonna try and do the same thing on this side. Okay, next we're gonna add the top of the ear. So we're just gonna angle the top just slightly down. About there. And then we're gonna make a little curve and then connect down here at the bottom with a little curved corner. Next, we're gonna add the body. So for this, we wanna do a curved U body. So next we're gonna add his legs. So we want the left leg to be a little bit in from like the edge of this mouth. So probably even with actually the smile line. We're gonna go straight down, start about here, make a line going down, and then stop a little bit before the edge of your U line. Same thing on this side. I'm just angling it in slightly. Then I'm gonna add the inside of the legs. About like that. 
All right, so now we're gonna add the paw. We're just gonna have it kind of sticking out to the side here. So we're gonna make a C line over here and then connect it back to the leg. So C line and connect the bottom of the paw. And then we're gonna erase the body line that cuts through the foot because the foot is going to be on top of the body. And then we're gonna add just two little toe lines. And then two on this side, just little curved lines to show where the toes separate. Then we're gonna add the side legs, he's sitting. So I think I'm gonna start a little bit lower than this one. And I'm gonna just make a curved line going out. Stop when I'm uh, even with this point. So a little bit above the belly. Same thing on this side. Curve line going out a little bit. Then we're gonna add our C line again and connect it just going in. And again, C line and connect it into the other foot or the leg, depending on where you put it. And we're gonna add two little toe lines. So we're done drawing our pug. Um, you could also add a doghouse going around if you'd like. Um, that's a pretty simple thing to draw. I can go over it quick. So you're basically just going to want to make a big arched line to show the cutout of the entryway. And then I like to add another one to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Then we're gonna add a line going out. Try and make them about equal on each side. Straight line going up on each side. there and then you're gonna add a roof so you want it to hang off the edge a little bit and I'm gonna actually add a point at the top right in the middle where my roof's gonna end then I can plan it out a little better Erase a little bit more of my house. There. So I'm going to add a straight line here and then parallel line to make the top of the roof. And then you just add some lines going across to look like, you know, pieces of wood or boards that made up the doghouse. And then the tricky part is trying to imagine that it goes through the back and then comes out on this side and try and get that in the same row. So that's why I turned my paper. All right, so I'm all drawn done drawing my pug in my dog house. Um, you can add extra little details um, like some grass or dog bowls or other details to your drawing. That's up to you. Whatever you want to add to your dog house pug drawing. 
hope you had fun drawing. Um, if you want to color it in, I would suggest outlining with black. So I outlined everything with a black marker and then colored it in with crayon. You could also use um, color pencils or just markers if you don't have those supplies. Have fun coloring. Bye.